What's up guys? So this is my list of the best iPhone games ever made. The first 10 are going to be free games and the second 10 are paid games. I've left off the super obvious stuff like Minecraft, like Clash of Clans, like Candy Crush and Angry Birds just because everyone's already heard of them. So let's get straight into the free games. At number 10 we have Geometry Dash Meltdown. Now this is the latest Geometry Dash game. It is by far the craziest in the franchise so far but it is so much fun to play. If you're not familiar with the game it has you bounce a shape by tapping the screen over obstacles to complete each level. I love this game. Number nine is Skiing Yeti Mountain. Now this is an awesome retro style skiing game where you slide your finger on the screen in order to make it the right side of the slalom gates and make your way safely down the mountain. You have the normal Yeti Mountain and then you can also unlock Challenge Mountain. This game has a ton of awesome humor and the graphics are super satisfying. Number eight is Dashy Crashy. Now this is an awesome endless runner where you take control of a car and you swipe your finger on the screen in order to change lanes and avoid all the other traffic. There's a ton of other stuff to put you off like emergency situations and crashes behind you and people speeding. I wanna see who can get the highest score so screenshot me on Twitter or on Snapchat and I will try and beat you. My top score is about 500 at the moment. Number seven is Two Dots. Now this is one of the best puzzle games on the iPhone. It's got a brilliant art design and it's one of those games that's very simple to understand and learn but very difficult to master. You swipe your finger around the screen in order to match up dots, you can match up squares, you can create bombs, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. A fantastic puzzle game. Number six is Smashy Road Most Wanted. So this is a clever mix between GTA and Crossy Road style graphics. So you're on the run from the police and the longer that you are on the run for, the harder it becomes. So you get army and you get the SWAT teams after you. You also have to pick up cash along the way, which you can unlock amazing new vehicles with. Just such a fun game. Number five is Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Now this is about as good as it gets for card strategy games on the iPhone. It looks brilliant, it's got a fantastic sense of humor, and best of all, despite it being a free to play game, it doesn't require you to spend lots of money in order to get ahead in the game. If you play cleverly, you can end up with just as powerful a deck of cards as someone who's spent lots of cash. Number four is a game called Alpha Bear. Now this is one of the cutest puzzlers that I've ever seen on the iPhone. You have to create words out of the available letters on the board. You can unlock bears and power-ups. It's a little bit like Scrabble, so if you're a fan of word games like that, chances are you'll also love this type of game. Number three is Does Not Commute. Now this has to be one of the more unique and funny iPhone games out there. You take control of a bunch of commuters, you control them one by one trying to get them to their destination by weaving in and out of buildings and trees and all kinds of stuff. But the catch is that each journey is layered on top of each other. So you're driving against your previous journeys. This means that if you mess up, so if you crash into a building, you're gonna have to drive against that in the next level. This is such a clever game, I cannot recommend it enough. Number two is Mr. Jump. Now this game also wins the award for the most infuriating game of the year. It's addictive, but it'll probably make you pull your hair out. You have to jump over obstacles to get to the end of each level. The first couple of levels are just about doable. They're not too annoying. You then get to the third or the fourth or the fifth level and you start to go nuts because you start having hundreds of attempts, probably dying in the same place over and over again. An amazing but incredibly annoying game. And the best free game is Fallout Shelter. Now this is an incredibly rich gaming experience for a free game. So you basically take control of a vault in a post-apocalyptic world and you have to look after all your dwellers who live in that vault. You have to make sure they have enough water, electricity, you have to make sure they procreate so you can populate your bunker. You basically have to make this incredible underground city that functions with lots of different unlockable rooms. You have to make sure they don't die in the fires or get eaten by the bugs or get killed by radiation sickness. You can also send them off into the wasteland. It's just such a fantastic game that really doesn't have an ending. You can just play it for as long as you possibly want until you get bored of it. So moving on to the best paid games. At number 10, we have Lara Croft Go. Now this is nothing like some of the older Lara Croft games. This is a puzzle game and it is beautiful. It feels a little bit similar to Monument Valley in its art design, but with a slightly different mechanic. It has you basically traverse all these caverns and dungeons to try and get Lara out of there without her being killed. A really, really fun game. At number nine, we have Desert Golfing. Now I cannot explain why I like this game so much. At face value, there's almost nothing to it. It's a complete time waster. It's endless golfing holes after golfing holes after golfing holes. You just have to try and get a hole in one as many times as possible. There is something that keeps me coming back to it. I have no idea what it is, but I love this game. 
Number eight is Super Stickman Golf 2. Now this is a much more fully featured game compared to Desert Golfing. You have a fantastic single player mode with lots of different unlockable courses and stages, but it's the multiplayer mode which is absolutely amazing. I'd go so far as to say this is the best multiplayer game on the iPhone in my opinion. You have a bunch of power-ups in the form of hats that make you an even better golfer. Just such a fun game. Number seven is a game called Downwell, and that's exactly what you need to do in this game is to get down the well. At the bottom of each of the wells, you get to choose a new power-up in order to slay as many enemies as possible in the next level. The graphics are fantastic. It's got this really nice old-school art design, which I absolutely love. Such a strong game. Number six is Oceanhorn. Now, if you've ever played any of the older Zelda games and you like them, then chances are you'll probably like this too because there are plenty of similarities. You have to explore the islands of uncharted seas. You get 10 hours plus of gameplay, which is impressive for an iPhone game. And this has to be one of the strongest storytelling efforts game-wise that I've ever seen on iOS. A fantastic adventure game. Number five is The Room 3. Now, if you're not familiar with the Room series of games, this is about as good as puzzle games get on the iPhone. The first one and the second one are both incredible, so if you haven't played them yet, I would definitely recommend picking them up as well. However, this game does something nearly impossible. It bests both of those games by having some amazing new varied environments to play your puzzles in and just generally being more immersive and more interesting storyline-wise than the original two. An amazing game. Number four is Monument Valley. Now, so much has already been said about this game. It is stunningly good looking. It has an immersive storyline and has this amazing MC Escher puzzle style dynamic where you have to manipulate the environment around you in order to let the little girl, so the lead character, make her way to the end of each level. This game is incredible. Check it out if you haven't done already. Number three is a game called Facility 47. Now this is the best point and click or point and tap game that I've ever found on the iPhone. It has you take control of a character and you have to find out what went horribly wrong in an Antarctic research facility. It's very spooky, a brilliantly immersive storyline, and best of all, you have a multiple choice ending as well, which is always fantastic. Number two is Alto's Adventure. Now this challenges Monument Valley as the best looking iPhone game ever. It has you chase down the mountain after your llamas, do backflips, grind on rails, jump over chasms, run away from all these different types of people, jump through forests. This game looks absolutely incredible. It's one of the most satisfying games I've ever played. You get to unlock a bunch of new characters with different power-ups and skills based on the number of objectives you complete in each level. I love this game. And the best paid game is Kingdom Rush Frontiers. Now you have three different Kingdom Rush games out at the moment. You have the first one, Kingdom Rush, the second one, Kingdom Rush Origins, and this one, which is the most recent one. Now these are tower defense games and they are done perfectly in my opinion. You have a bunch of awesome upgradable towers. You have to defend your bases. You have heroes that can also defend all your troops. This game never slows down despite having hundreds of enemies on screen at once. I can't imagine a more fun gaming experience on an iPhone than this game. Thank you for watching guys. If you're new to this channel, my name is Matt and I review the top five new iPhone games and apps that come out every single week. These videos normally happen on Saturdays. If you'd like to check out last week's, you can by tapping the little I button over there in that corner. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas and an awesome new year. I cannot thank you enough for your support this year. 20,000 subscribers is insane and is not something I thought that I would achieve this year. We've created this channel together and I cannot wait to see what we can build with it in 2016. I will see you guys next year. 